Hey guys, the black and white collector here, showing you something that clearly isn't black and white. That's the wrong way round! Ah, perfect. Um, after watching Jay Witt's video, which you should definitely go check out, he showed some of his stuff he managed to salvage over the years. Pikachu, stand up. There we go. Cool, will be perfect, even though it's a big mess. Anyway. Um, I thought I'd just show some of my stuff I've managed to scavenge in my one room. This is actually not my whole collection of stuff, although it's... Anyway, we'll start here with this book. Uh, let me tell you, if you was playing the old school games, like some of the pages at the beginning have fallen out, so it starts with Butterfree now. Woohoo! If you were playing the old school games, this book was your lifesaver. It told you how to say the names correctly, which is brilliant. Even though sometimes I got it wrong, I mean, it's not really official, I don't think. And it told you what level of Pokemon evolves uh, and what moves they will learn in the future. Not necessarily in order. Oh, it also tells you what they evolve by if it involves a stone. So, if you were a kid and you didn't have the internet or didn't know how to use the internet or you were, I don't know, too <sighs> underground to use the internet, this book was a lifesaver, really. Look how happy those dog shows look. And so, yeah, that's that little book. I also have the Burger King toys, like this Tauros, this... Diglett, it's probably a lot more to it. And this side like I've never got to be able to work. It's just a switch. It's like it's got a little hole to spray stuff at you, like a skunk. Like shh. ooh, scary. This big Eevee, which used to have like a string going along it, so I don't actually know what it's for. These little sliders which Ooh, making them slide, but you know what? I thought I could do that with anything, look. Oh no! There's no marble at the bottom of it, so it don't work. Clever. So it does work. Well done, Charmander. You've got the marble as well. Um, I think this is Tomy. Yeah, Tomy normally has all that stuff. So this is a Tomy tree code. Interesting fact about this sound shoe is that it actually came from fake Pokemon cards. It just happened to have a figure with it. And it's really good quality. I mean, look at it. There's nothing really wrong with this. It's got all the engraves right. It's got no legal stuff on it, but it's still really nice. As for this cafe, which is clearly fake, there's a little box on it, like it was supposed to contain a rubber or something, or an eraser, as Americans would say, and it's really, really dodgy. Um, this is a big Jack specific Munchlax, I do have Apom, and I think that's it. Speaking of Apom, they always come with these little marbles, these Japanese ones, which is interesting. And that's the proof that I have Apom, but I just don't have him with me. He's gone to bed. Oh, I also have Mantike. Uh, the Battle Ball, what does it say? Battle Bat Pokey. Oh, fearful. Throw it at your enemies. This is interesting. You shove a lollipop in Squirtle's head, press this button, and it would rotate it for you. You'll have to use your imagine. Whoa! Can you hear that? That's it actually doing it. <laughs> I was just about to say you have to use your imagination because I doubt it works anymore. Fascinating. This is a flat headed Squirtle. You know how um, Jay Witz had these weird thing with Jigglypuff when he was a kid. I think mine was Squirtle, because I've just got so many random Squirtle things. Um, you put Play-Doh on it, squish it, and it make a nice little Squirtle print. Fascinating. Same thing goes with Clefairy. I think I had a Pikachu and a Psyduck as well, but they're somewhere. This is another fake figure. It's only here because I remember when I first got it, it was making yellow all on my fingers and it made me cry. And by that I mean it made me annoyed. Here's Tommy's Ash Ketchum and James. Ooh. Uh, um, this comes from Burger King. It used to stand on a card. There's a lot more of them. I think this is the only one I managed to get though. It's like every time I go to Burger King, you get a gold duck. And I think this one used to suck up water. It used to push it down and the water used to come out. I also have that little ball with the Pikachu in it. Oh, that didn't bounce. I'm sad now. Uh, another Meowth, which is like that Eevee I mentioned earlier. Oh, this is a Burger King Blastoise, which you squeeze and it makes you all wet. It also had a tentacle like that, and it's all like squidgy and fun. A lot more fun than that Blastoise. This is a game, which I don't think I can get open. Aha! There we go. Let's see what it does. I actually can't remember. Oh, it doesn't work. Well, I can't remember. I know I had to shake it until something happened. Oh, no, it is working. It's just got no sound. Game one. Pause. Sound. I don't know. Sound? Yes. 
Okay. Let's go then. Let's play. Well, you get the idea. It's a lame game where you have to shake it. But look, it's got square ball on it. And if you ever wanted a real Pokeball, this is probably the first one you got, other than the 50,000 other ones you get in Tommy figures. This is a small Pokeball, though it's really small in my hand, but I don't have large hands. So, um... Yeah, that's fascinating because in the anime they'd have it like that and it'd pop open to a big one. So you could officially say that's the first small one that was ever officially released. In fact, it howls this little ivy saw one. Let's see if it still figs. Figs? Let's see if it still figs in there. Oh. Who's you, ivy saw? And there he is, ready to aid you at your school ground needs. Uh, I have these little more softy figures as well, but. And these are little houses for them, and worlds. Let's see if I can get one of these open for you. Ooh! This one has water in it, and a seedra. And yeah, that's it. That's the little house. Look, magma's in the grass. Ah. Oh, that thing's fun. I'll show you that. Look. Let's do Eevee, because I hate Eevee. I mean, I love Eevee. Everyone loves Eevee. Eevee's just standing there, or he would if he would actually stand. And then he's all like, Ow! I've fallen in the lake! Who's gonna rescue me? Milk tank will rescue you. And hours of fun. I guarantee it. There's loads of little random creatures here. We've got Oddish, Goldeen, Mamoswine, if it's hold on my hand. Is that Mamoswine? Probably. I don't care. Chimchar, who's all like relaxed, like, hey, hey, hey. Yes, he's fat Albert. Psyduck, which actually do came, it do came with that one. Also got pink Rhyhorn somewhere. But obviously sadly not with these. Santa's, Dojo, Absol, a bobblehead of Minion, or Minin, whatever his name is. I have a lot of Minin stuff as well. These come from Gotchas, so they're very pro Minin. Uh, they have these little key rings that you get from the Pound Machines, or whatever you want to call them. Dollar Machines, maybe? I don't know. Maybe they don't exist. Um, I also have these coins that come with the Tomy figures, like this one, that, and then boom, I guess that's how you play the game, exciting. And um, these ones are obviously a bit larger than this, I'm not sure if you had this promotion in America, but we actually got these in crisps, and, oh, what do you call them, potato chips or whatnot, and um, you got them in like little slips, this is before the world said no, you're not allowed nice three things in food anymore. Which is a shame because I'd like to see a lot more Pokemon things in food. It's strange to remember that and collect them all. I have a lot more of these, but they're not exactly the most interesting things in the world. I don't understand the backs because it's got more stars and they look like retreat cost stars. Fascinating. I also have that Chansey. I also had an Aerodactyl and Rockets Meow, I think. They look like the artwork on Rockets Meow. I also have the black and white ones. For comparison, they're different. That was a good comparison there. Uh, we have these golden coins, which are foreign for some strange reason. This one says Google Hoth. And I'm assuming they're Spanish, because I know all the names retained. And this one's called Hitmonchan. And this one's called Clefairy. But, yeah. This one's clearly supposed to be Sing, I think. So you, can, you can't see nothing. It looks really blurry and horrible. But isn't that nice? Basically, these are nice little coins. And they're golden. And they've got a nice little Pokeball print on the back. Fun for all the family. Go to Poundland. See if you can buy something with those. This one, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be special or not. But I happen to have got this at the 10th anniversary. In a little gacha machine. Probably isn't special. But it's special to me. So I'll put you down. I have a flame. Probably supposed to go on the bottom of this Zapna. So it's fallen off. Not today. Probably last week it fell off. Isn't that nice? I also have a Weavile. I used to get these in Pokeballs. This is the Pokeball actually. There was something like this. You used to open it up. No, that's not going to go open. I'll show you. Boom. Oh no. It's a slippy one. That's why. I was trying to twist it. You put it in there. And then look. You've got a Pokemon. Fascinating. Uh, we have Meowth. And Psyduck. And oh look. Squirtle again. This Squirtle forks if you press the button. And so there's Psyduck. Oh, I forgot to bring the gen jar. Oh well. I had a gen jar as well and I actually had it out for a bit, but it, it's broken and so it's all the same gen jar. I just go, yip, yip, yip. 
but I can't be asked to do it that now. I do apologise. It was so humorous as well. This is really strange. I have a Poliwhirl pen. I used to have a Starmie and some other Pokemons as well. But this one's weird because it's white. And Poliwhirl's got nothing to do with white. <laughs> wow, that's fun. And, you know, you can't really draw on white things. Sorry, Bob, I'm going to try and draw on you. It doesn't even work. Oh, well. Oh, well, speaking of that Bulbasaur, I think I'll put a little on this with one hand. Oh, the skills. Everyone's amazed. This Bulbasaur comes from like a weird card game. I do have a lot more of these cards, but it's like um, you read a book and you have an adventure, then you get the cards out, and there's two different kinds of Bulbasaur you can have. Bulbasaur facing that way, or this way. It's both 9 HP. And you have to roll dice to get hits with Vine or and this will be Growl. There's a little bit of Professor Oak's knowledge there. It says, as Bulbasaur grows, the bulb becomes a large, leafy plant. Beautiful. Uh, Burger King watches, which I think are pretty rare. Um, you're supposed to clip something on here, it makes some noise sound different, but... This one's not making any noise. It used to make noise. Maybe Lugia does. Maybe Lugia does. Foul! I know one of them used to go, Foul! But now it's all weird. This one's broken, it says Nick on there. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it did say Nick, now it says something else because I've pressed it around. Silly me. Uh, this is Squirtle again. Ooh, amazing. It's supposed to hold your pencil and pens and things. It's unrelated to this, probably well, but we will relate them now. Beautiful. I have to put the carrot out for this next thing. This is a very weird... Can you see? Yes, you can. It's a very weird Pikachu vs. Genjar game, and I've had it for years, and it's only when I got it out again from the garage, or garage, as you would say, that I actually figured it out. It's loud! Okay, we're gonna win. Gengar. I say Genjar, but whatever. What do I say? I have to press it. What do I do? Maybe I shake it, I forget. We'll try one more time. We're gonna win. We're gonna beat Genjar. He's such a meanie. Mm. Nope. <laughs> what could I possibly need to do? I figured it out, but I can't remember now. Mm. Hooray! We did it! That was the victory tune. We shall put that away now because it's loud and I bet you could even hear me. This coin. Fascinating, it's me out. It comes from a spinning top game where you play... Do you know what? I actually don't know too much about the spinning top game because I had it when I was young and I just salvaged the coins. Which sounds funny. Um, I think you used to place it in a spinning top and then watch him spin and then it, some sort of stats or something. I'm not sure. Really confusing. Um, I probably just bought it because it's Pokemon. You know what it's like when you're a kid. I've got Bulbasaur, which is like Tauros. You just push something in its bottom and it release. <laughs> oh man, that bad. Um, also have Game Boys. This one's a Rattata. It wiggles. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Beautiful. I think that one looks better. Get it out. Look, we've got Joey on. I'm not sure if this is still going to work. I don't think it will. No, it don't. But assure me, this screen flashed when you did it. It's the B button. And it won't work without the cartridge. Oh, it's kind of still working. You lie to me. Anyway, let's move on to Marvel because that's pretty interesting. This is a Marvel case because you know Beagle is the most main character of them all. And again, these bags have weird Pokémon in them as well. Well, this one's got marbles in them. I tell you what, let's pour them here and have a look at some. We have Voltorb, Caterpie, everyone's favourite, Rhyhorn, Nidoran, that's mine. Oops, I just clashed two together, made a funny noise. Tentacle. Geodude. And you know what, I'm bothered this already. Oh no, this one's shiny. This is like a rare equivalent when there's these weird colours. This one's Star Mew. Star Mew, the new Pokemon. Uh, I put the best ones in there, and if you can see, there's a little magnifying glass in it. I assure you, it looks really good. There you go, if you put it up to the light, it looks a bit better. You can slowly see the Pokemon. I think this one's... I have no idea what that is, actually. We can get it open. There we go. You could spin it around by twisting it. Good fun. And I got Pikachu, the main guy, and obviously the rarest, Mew, 